What's up, fool? Shout out to Voodoo Glow Skulls out of Riverside, though. Yeah, the man. band that um, put that song together for us. Originally, the, the song is called Fat Randy. And I went into the studio one day and changed the word from Fat Randy to What's up, fool? Took us an hour and a half. They cut it together. And now, every time they go on tour and they play Fat Randy, some of the fans are in the audience yelling out, What's up, fool? <laughs> What's up, fool? We have Jennifer Loca right here, man. La Loca in the house. Can you put the microphone closer, or people can't hear you. Okay, okay. Oh, you, you can bring it. You, you, you can, can move adjust it, yeah. this like, adjust little arm. Boom, there, yeah, man. Miss right. Loca. <laughs> What's up? What's up, fool? <laughs> Miss Loca or Mrs. Loca? Are you a Mrs. yet? La Loca. La Loca. Oh yeah. La Loca, bro. <laughs> the crazy, bro. I'm, I'm crazy. <laughs> bro, I'm crazy. you ever you ever met white people that call themselves loco? Yeah, bro. Do one day. Dude, I'm loco, bro. <laughs> like, like, loco or like. Loco. <laughs> L-O-C-O. But when a white dude says, I'm, or a white chick says, I'm loco, I'm thinking maybe they're O L O C A. Oh, you I'm mean loco. like, yeah, loco. I'm, I'm loco, dude. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm You're from Placentia? <laughs> yeah. Dude, California was Mexico, dude? No way. Wait People are, are, are finally figuring that out, bro. Like, the news is out that Mexico used to belong to. Mexico. Why are you Oregon. telling lies, bro? California. California. No, this it, was England before, bro. bro. I saw this. I saw this. <laughs> I saw this video. <laughs> I, I, I saw this video <laughs> of, of a little girl, a little white girl. She's cute, man. She has blue eyes, and they asked her, um, why, um, blah 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 blah, blah right? <laughs> and then she she said, <laughs> Good question. she said Martin Luther King. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. no. Uh, what, what Brain was fog it? over here. Wasn't it the uh, Martin Luther King died for our sins or something like yeah. that? Yeah, it was. It was. Cute. Why did Martin? Who died for your sins? They asked the little girl, "Why did Martin Luther King die? Martin Luther King died for our sins." Yeah. <laughs> hey, dude. It's a good gets, one though. I mean, think about it. The he white sin. He, he put him right up there with 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 Jesus Christ. Yeah, Tupac died for his sins for real, dude. Yeah, man. What's up, fool? How was your weekend, Jennifer? You were in San Francisco. Yeah. We know that we were stalking you. <laughs> <laughs> the San yeah, Francisco I, treat. Yeah, I was in Frisco. It started raining out there, but yeah, it was nice out there. You missed us, man. We were there in San Francisco on on Saturday night. Oh. On Saturday night, we drove to Napa to do a show. Nice. An hour and you been in Napa? Yeah. It's like an hour Wine, away. Right? Wine country? Yeah, man. Totally. Oh, man. Why, the, the, my, my fondest memory of um, Napa... Was we we went to the swimming pool, my wife and I, and our son, and the sign read, "If you have diarrhea, don't go in the pool." In the last twelve days, yeah, the last 12 days. like they had it down to to the day, bro. Like if it's you have happened. diarrhea in the last twelve days, don't go in the swimming pool. Man, I've been to ghetto ass pools in the hood that don't have signs like that, bro. It's like common sense. You should know. Hey, to do in the stomacho, afuera. Eh? What's up with a two week grace period though? But that's look, when the diarrhea goes away. Nicely, you know, I made a yeah? joke about it on stage, man. The sign didn't read no lifeguard on duty. They didn't care about you drowning. You know, they cared about you fucking shitting on the pool. Yeah. But man, if you shit on a swimming pool, doesn't they have bleach? Doesn't it like disappear already? I think it'll dissipate after time, but I think a turd, a turd will turd probably turd. take yeah. a couple weeks. <laughs> but it depends what a kind of... take two weeks. If it's like non-brand bleach, it might not do a good job. You no, know? I think it's because you have no, to have a right, right mixture. Well, because if, right. You're right. Yeah, because <laughs> if, if you have it too much chlorine, wouldn't like... Do, doesn't your hair fall off? No, I, it, no you, it, turns, it turns green. Like if you have blonde hair. Oh, <laughs> shit, dude. The Joker, bro. Just come out with green hair. Come on, like look at the gremlin. Yeah, hey, la pie. <laughs> hey, uh, you don't remember that one time with homie at uh, uh, the said Schlong? That youngster over there in Napa? Over there at oh, the guy, the guy that... That shit was my funnest time, bro. Like, there's one kid stalked Felipe on Instagram. <laughs> you saw where we were eating he at? Didn't, he, didn't go, he didn't go to the comedy show. What? He just no. saw that I was going to go to eat, the, eat at the burger stand, and that fool showed up. 
Smile it up. You're going to wait to a job interview. Yeah. <laughs> no, in the daytime. It, it was in the morning, morning. He was like, yeah. I forgot about that fool. He was all dressed. He was actually dressed up like he's going to go to a little job interview. Yeah. <laughs> little polo. He he was dressed like a public defender, bro, with little black uh-huh. shoes. Yeah. yeah, a public defender that works at Best Buy. <laughs> <laughs> like, he, his shoes looked like he was, about to, he was about to beg you to take the plea deal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be best for both of us if you do this. You know what's funny? When I was, I was, you ever watch that show, Jennifer? Um, it only comes out on Thanksgiving. It's the best in show, and they show like the best dogs in the country. It's a big like, old competition. Yeah, right? they get all the pet bulls, and they never win. Well, they, they get the best <laughs> terriers, the best hounds, the best little little white dogs, and the best other dogs. And at the end of the show, they pick the best one, right? But check this out. You could get a job just walking the dog at this, tit, 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 just prancing, show a video, Philip, right? And they just, all they do, all they do, is, they're on TV, bro, and they're, all they do is walk the dogs so the judges could see it. And they're like well-trained dogs, very pretty-ass dogs. But the person walking the dog, man, oh, my God, bro. They're ugly? Look, like they, they, got the, the, they got those shoes, bro, at the trash can at Payless, bro. God damn. The, <laughs> what? Yeah. The like, these were side nine and one... <laughs> One quarter. It's right. like the like big, the wor- worst shoes ever, huh? Like, like if you would big, give them to a yeah. homeless guy, the homeless guy like would say this no. lady <laughs> has a dog that wears at least 20, 30 thousand, and her shoes are like two left feet. Yeah, it's, it's like the big shoes that nobody gets. Show it, Philip. Are those dog walking shoes? What shoes? Like dog walking shoes? Best in show. <laughs> you have to have some technique, right? But it makes sense. You gotta sacrifice not buying good shoes if you want to buy an expensive dog, bro. But if your feet are gonna be on television, right? Yeah. You at least have some nice shoes, some Vans, some Jordans. Something. Sh- like no. One, by the way, that's stash. That stash, he won. What just, is that right there? What kind of dog? It's a so little dog stash. Well, look at their dog. Look at their dog. Look at their shoes. If you could, if you have glasses, <laughs> that dog could eat with a knife and fork, huh? The ladies, the ladies bro. Look. The worst okay. Shoes, wow. Check this out, bro. The dog has better shoes than her. <laughs> Little diabetes shoes, huh? <laughs> these dogs, man, eat better than us, by the way. Yeah, What's up with that dog? Yeah, look at these shoes. <laughs> Boring ass flat. That's like the little dog in Life and Times with Tim, huh? That those shoes you get when you win when you win the best pie on Crisco competition. <laughs> you know, you know Crisco the the, the oil. Exactly you get those shoes about. when you win when you make a pie. You know when you're uh, a... <laughs> well, let me see how she looks like, though. Let me see. No, they, don't <laughs> they don't show their face, but the lady walking a dog getting paid hundreds of thousands, bro. Those are like, look at those shoes, bro. Those shoes, shoes. Those shoes like look totally. like she's going to walk up to you after the show and go, you know, you have two books that are due. <laughs> those, those, are like, are, those are like a prescription shoes that you get prescribed you by the doctor. Shoes. You know? Those, those shoes, shoes, look at you. They're, they're going to walk up to you and go, you know, your 14-year-old son <laughs> doesn't know how to read. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to teach him. Uh, those are like uh, nun shoes. Look at those yeah. shoes, yeah. bro. Yeah, those on. shoes look like you're about to graduate from the FBI Academy, uh, bro. The, the aunt that never got married shoes. Hey, dude. Hey, those yeah. shoes look like you're hey, about bro. to graduate from La nun tia, school. Que nunca se casó. Those oh. shoes are the ones that your, your, your abuelita wore when she twisted her ankle, oh. bro, at a car show. <laughs> Those are midwife shoes. Huh? Hey, dude, those are, but hey, those shoes probably are hey, those like, are healthy. Sho- those are you know, shoes that your the... tia walked up to you and goes, you know a place where they could fix them, man? How many, yeah, <laughs> how many ampollas can she you said, get She said, do you know shoes, a cobbler? Uh, little Salvation Army <laughs> She goes, shoes, Jennifer, but I put icy, but those are zapatero. Those are hardcore Catholic hey, shoes, huh, for like you, an old tia. Ponle crazy glue abajo. <laughs> Would you date a man that takes his shoes to get clean? Oh, man. <laughs> Stacey Adams about to there, huh? Look at yes, like old I school, would. right? Old school, old school, right? Old school. Like, 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 like those dudes that dress like that. I was talking to George Perez. Mm-hmm. Oh, George Perez, by the way, he has a show coming up December 28th at the Comedy Store in the big room. Woo. He already has um, Jesus Trejo. Give me some Jesus. I was there with hermanos, haciendo comedia, comedia en Latino. <laughs> And now, uh, Fruits right, Gone Wild and myself. Uh-huh. So that'll be the last show I do for the year, December 28th. Hell yeah. Yeah, and um, my wife and I, we're going to spend New Year's Eve at the at the, um, at the the fucking um, Deja Vu. Ooh, the, the strip club? That's right. That one in Hollywood right there? <laughs> no, the dirty one by the train tracks. Which one? Oh, right, nice. They close it. 
<laughs> oh, on San Fernando Road? Dude, do you guys remember when we were walking in Seattle? There's a deja vu right there where we're waiting for the Uber. I don't I remember. I don't see nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was tripping out on that. I was like, was that here last time? But the deja yeah, vu right there. I lost my wallet in there. Bro, I went to a strip bar one time, and he was gangster, bro. Where? Because, because I dropped my wallet, and I, it was, I dropped my wallet during a lap dance, and the stripper, instead of asking me if that was my wallet, she said, let's go halves. Mean hood rat. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go halves on my wallet. Then. <laughs> yeah. okay. You know, it's funny. They always say outside the documentary where they show these strippers, they're all sad, you know. Wow. I'm with the ones that are happy, bro. The ones that are, the ones that are doing snow angels on the cash. <laughs> the ones that are balling. <laughs> the ones that want to do it, yeah. Uh, the they're poor. <laughs> no making no money. Yeah, people say, Felipe, you make it rain. No, man. I make it um cloudy with, <laughs> with, with, with uh, partly cloudy with... Mild, mild droppings, bro. <laughs> a little, a little ten percent chance of rain. Give us some sparkles, bro. Sure. Oh, so where'd you grow up at? I grew up in Boyle Heights. Oh shit, BH. Uh, when Beverly I first saw Hills, Jennifer, homie. man, I saw her on a podcast, and uh, she was talking about how they took over the 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 uh, Sybil brand. Linwood. Linwood. Sybil brand's way old. That's. <laughs> they took That's over the Oz. Nineteen twenties. <laughs> He said 1920s, back when the ladies got yeah. the vote. That's when those ladies were wearing those shoes in 1920s. Huh. <laughs> the first year they started voting, huh? That's when they were brand new, those shoes, huh? We, we vote that you don't wear those shoes the anymore. The guards were wearing those shoes in Civil Brand. <laughs> Where's that? Where was that at? Where? I don't even know. Where's, I, it was in, like, no, no, no. Terrace or something? Eastern on Eastern? Civil Brand was on Eastern. What, what is you that? You put the mic closer? Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, you, 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 you can you hear me? Yeah, so you're not too. You could pull it closer, yeah. Like I said, no, Civil Brand was. Um, it was on Eastern. On Eastern, right there, man. I only know it because um, there used to be a, a, a place to pay for your cable there back in the day. Yeah, there was a cable. Buena Vista or yeah, something? Yeah, Buena Vista or <laughs> Adelphia or Philadelphia. Yeah. They Buena cut Vista it off. Cable. Century 21. It's a ghetto ass channel, Damn, too. Me, <laughs> no school realtor, huh? So you didn't grow up where I grew up, right? Because I grew up right there. Right? I grew up first, I lived on Pecan Street. Across the street from the baseball field, I live in a, there used to be a yellow building. It's still there yeah. with four windows. Right across the street, <laughs> man, like if you're like, like if you're like in a, in like inside a baseball field at Pecan Park and the dugout on third base, and you look at this, you can see where I live. That's where we first got there when I was in second grade, fool. Damn. And then we moved to the projects, bro. <clears throat> and uh, man, bro. <laughs> We live in, in a gated community, bro. The windows were gated. The back doors. Gated. <laughs> he had a good there. Yeah, we. <laughs> they can't get in, bro. My house was like Free we lived. We lived on sixteen thirty four, East Fifth Street. We were like apartment one, bro, in the projects. Like the first we were, one, damn. we were right next to the office, like where we lived. It was me, and then, and we, in the beginning, it was this kid named Paul and Michelle and their mom Kuka. <laughs> And their mom, Kuka, and we used to walk, take Paul. care of them. They were little. And then <laughs> right next door was a lady a lady who we never saw. And then Koala, some guy named Koala. From Australia, homie. And then, right, and then <laughs> number four was these fucking Chinos, bro, Vietnamese, Hong and Duck and Young and what? all those fools. That's mean Vietnamese. And then number seven huh? was a mean lady named Kuka with her dog. And seven was a fucking... So that's William, bro. William. They always have those Paola. names, huh? William, Milton, Milton. Yeah. And then um, that's a diverse, on the corner, it's diverse as fuck, the bro. Corner, there used to be this stuttering cholo. Memory. There used to be this stuttering cholo named Ruby. And um, from Cuatro, but you old school, bro. You're from like an old ass fucking clique, bro. The Enanos or something. Damn, old man, school, man. right? Anyways, you, like if you look at um if you look at old photos of um of Chicano protests in the, in the project in 1970, mm -hmm. there's a picture of the guy I'm talking about in there. Yeah, he's like 15 years old. His name is Ruby, and he's holding a a poster. And then there's another po another po uh, picture, and it's the guy who gave me this tattoo right here, this um <laughs> night owl from Cuatro, but he's like 15 years old, and he's sitting there with another guy. And um, the the picture to to anybody else who knows who doesn't know this photo, it's just a regular photo. But if you look if you if you look, if you do the history behind the photo, 
The guy from Night Owl, he's from Cuatro, right? And the other guy, he's from fucking Third Street, bro. Tercera. <laughs> and they were hardcore the enemies rivals? back then. But they got together just to take that photo. And I think that was the last time that guy was ever in the projects <laughs> alive. <I> Anyways, <laughs> so yeah. yeah. So you grew up in the projects? No, right? No, no, no. Where? I, no, I grew up on, right, like General Hospital. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. By the Popeyes? Yeah. Oh, damn. That Popeyes is ghetto, <laughs> dude. That Popeyes has, bu- dude. It's Which Popeyes? The bro? one right there in Marengo. And, uh, that one's always had bulletproof yeah. glass. Yeah, it's always had bulletproof glass. Yeah, that it's one, yeah. There. That's the one. That, there's, there's a donut shop that opened there 24 hours, right? It's right there. And across, it looks like yeah. they never mopped that yeah. that Popeyes <laughs> ever, no, It's dude. sticky like yeah. movie That's theater floors, bro. It's scuzzy, dude. It's like, it's just that, that it, Popeyes bro. is Oh my gosh! Because like a lot of people that I guess they kick out because they don't have medical insurance, they can, they make them go in there at the Popeyes because it's open twenty four yeah. hours. So yeah. when the when the sandwich, it is. Yeah. It is. So when the sandwich craze was going on, that was the only one that you could get one like at sandwich three in the morning. Bro. Remember two thousand nineteen? Yeah, it was a pandemic, yes. dude. Exactly. So I I swear, I swear to God, I went hey. to like four different Popeyes, and that was my last resort. I don't want to go there, but I had to go there. Like I went to there like at two fifty in the morning. I got hop one. on the train, bro. God. I left my wallet there one time, and I went back like an hour later. They found my ID outside the door, but my money was gone. I like a thousand dollars in my po- in my wallet. It was gone. Damn, yeah. man. It's somebody but rich they left, that they night. They threw my ID though. They threw You're my like ID a outside. fairy leaving all that money. <laughs> <laughs> Straight. Wow, straight. man, that's. It's a fucked up feeling to lose that much dude, money, huh? It was my rent money, man. Oh my god! How did you lose it though? You were high. I was high as fuck. After that sandwich, <laughs> huh? it was so good. Dude. <laughs> I was so happy getting that sandwich that I left my wallet there. I just wanted the sandwich. You just made the sandwich say like, nasty afterwards. I didn't afterwards. even care about my thousand dollars. <laughs> I know. I'm never gonna eat this shit again. <laughs> yeah, I didn't go taste. back. I never went back to Popeyes after that. I was so mad. Huh. <laughs> I thought you were wearing a Popeye shirt. <laughs> yeah, like, oh yeah. Hey, dude. Popeya, homie. <laughs> <laughs> olive oil. She got all of there. Olive oil, dude. <laughs> How crazy are you? I lost a thousand dollars, fool. A thousand, fool. I was mad. Fuck, mad dude. rack, huh? Gone forever. I, I didn't even want to eat that sandwich after that. Fuck, dude. <laughs> But that, that Popeyes, people have still have those gowns for the hospital. It's crazy. Yes, they and walk you, in with the gown. Yeah, and the ordering. That, that was just thinking right now, with man. With the bracelets all hanging out. Like, yeah. I was just thinking that right now because the um, legs are all oozing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they are. Yeah. She ain't lying, yeah. bro. Yeah. They're all lying. I, oh, oh my God. Oh. They're right there in line ordering with yeah, their legs yeah. all. Yeah. Cause see some of those those, those <laughs> some, well, love, at bro. the hospital. I, I don't think General Hospital sells cigarettes anymore. There's no vending machine for cigarettes mm. at the General Hospital no more, like in the 70s. The so they, 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 pull, they tell huh? them you can't smoke here. So they, they leave the hospital and go to that donut shop and they buy <laughs> cigarettes right there, bro. Or you can't have sugar. They go have a donut right there like my dad. <laughs> And they got the three in the morning spots where you go buy beer in the hood. <laughs> oh shit! Where we grew up, that's the only McDonald's, bro. Eighth, uh, it was um right there in Marengo. On if you're slick, oh yeah. Or if you want, if you have a car, you go to Eighth and Soto. Those were the only <laughs> McDonald's for us. Yep. That one's right next to the ten. It's all convenient, huh? Yeah. That's, rob yeah. it, and they used to rob that one all the time, huh? <laughs> Yeah. I went there one it time right her, after they, robbed, they <laughs> robbed it in the middle of the day. I'm like, what happened? And they're all they just robbed the us McDonald's. Right. Yeah, right there on Soto, right there, dude. So, um, you know what? There, um, so you you were, you were growing up in the in my neighborhood right there on Fifth Street, where, where when it was really bad. Yeah, but it was a party, huh? Because see, when I was living there, <laughs> like there was there was slanging dope, but it was not on Fifth Street. It was more on Clarence Street. Yeah, it was on Clarence. And um, it's funny because it started at first. It start, you, you were seeing um, any, anybody listening here watching? You ever seen the movie Blood and Blood Out? Yeah. Have you ever seen um, Boulevard Nights? Yes. Okay, you know that house where they live. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's where the where the where the dope scene started in in <laughs> Pico Gardens in that area because there was no there was nothing, bro. There was no one else selling crack. <laughs> PCP was on um, on the other side, but bro, I remember, bro, like when. People started selling crack. Those fucking negros, bro. From the other side, they were all jealous, dog. <laughs> they, they used to walk around trying to take our money and shit. Cause so, sure. But they were jealous because now the business went over there? Yeah, and we were nicer to the customers. 
<laughs> oh shit, dude! Meaning the wars, huh? Two for one. They used to give them that two for one special. Customer bro, when service, I when bro. I was when I left, like I went to rehab, bro, because I was all locote, bro. I was like a pica pierda, bro. <laughs> I was gonna tell you yeah, real quick. Dude, dude, back in those those early nineties, <laughs> they said your ear off? in in L A. Right there, <laughs> ba- base people would just get off the freeway, buy it, and get back on the freeway and take off. Right, bro. When I was right yeah, there in Holland, yeah. back right there. Look, there it is, right there. Is that Holland? Oh, yeah, I'm blind. Because that's convenient as fuck. If you're into see that. when I was when when I was when I was out there all local, bro. I, I would catch the customers slipping. <laughs> they would come out of the first street exit. And then drive on um, on fucking Glen Street, and I'll catch them right there in front of the f- the the fucking um, Four Square Church. Before they even get to the spot, oh. right to the Four Square Church, yeah, yeah. and that was the spot, bro, the spot. And then um, and th- and then later on, bro, th- fuck, bro, th- they raided that place, bro, and it it came out on Channel Five, bro. The news <laughs> it was a big raid in Los Angeles, California. <laughs> The oldest kid was 17 years old. They were ne- they were grossing eighty thousand dollars a month Damn. just on that little corner. So just wow. kids, just kids peddling that shit. Yeah, and they were all like, How they were not they were not even working for any. They were all not like they were all independent. They were all independent. Independent back then. There was there was no pay, no middleman, no, no guy that there was no nobody pimp. going there. No there There's no Mexican. Mafia. There was nobody going there every month collecting. We were just independent. Like you, you would you would go buy from somebody. Like there was a guy that was the early days, bro. There was somebody that was slang it, bro. And um it, it was it cost three hundred it cost seven hundred dollars for a whole ounce. And why did yeah. why that spot get burned? Why did it get raided? Because, bro, people got too popular? Bro, there's little little fourteen year old kids fucking <laughs> having sex with crackheads who are thirty, bro. <laughs> oh. Catching diseases. That's Damn. disgusting. Because I was wondering, no, because I, dude, I remember, dude, like ABC News had little specials on on uh, on basically the crack scene in LA, mm-hmm. and I mean it had that one, you know, the other side of town. But you know, when people get, I, I thought maybe somebody got killed or something and got did, robbed. Did you ever see that video? You're probably too young, but Paul Rodriguez did a, a like a comedy special in the projects, bro, for people in the projects, mm-hmm. and um, he was he was at a he was he went to a funeral for some guy named um. Richie Ortiz, they used to call him Sniper. <laughs> he was from TMC. I think Paul Rodriguez went to that went to that funeral, and he spoke about um, stop the violence. Eh? Yeah. So when you got when the, 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 when you got when you when you were like you grew up right there, uh, and used to hang out in the projects. I used to hang out. At, yeah, I hung out in the projects. I hung out everywhere. <laughs> what lured <laughs> you there? Just I was I was selling dope. So I was you were selling dope up there or down there? Everywhere. I was just. You started there. selling dope on um away from the project. Then yeah. you met the real dudes. Yeah, I was selling. I was just making money out there. Just you know, coming up. I was young and I. You How know, old were you? I was probably like 16, 17. Damn. Just getting that money. I, just, my mom was a single mom, so I was just like trying to make some money for the family. And, and dope, it's a. Uh, it was like everything, like marijuana or like a uh, crack. Or yeah, it was. Coke. It was a coke. It was meth. Because when I was a kid, dope was fucking marijuana. You know. Yeah. 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 That's to me, dope was yeah. always powders. Yeah, powder. Yeah, whether it's speed. Because like, like I remember, like yeah. uh, watching those commercials. You know, like the T- uh, PSA. Why people know? say dope? Yeah, yeah. So it was. Do- yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, you were doing yeah. dope, and like, oh, it's marijuana. You yeah. know. Yeah. yeah. The yeah, first really? one I heard uh, called yeah. marijuana dope was Joe Diaz. You got some dope? I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Don't do heroin, dude. Like, <laughs> weed cocksucker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it was cr- cr- like, but, um, <clears throat> so you were all, like, when I was gro- growing up, I didn't see too many, like, I see a lot, of, not, not too many women selling dope. I knew, I knew this one girl. <laughs> she was black, you know, but her whole family sold dope, though. So it was, it was like you had no choice, you know. You're gonna you're gonna read a book. You're gonna sell dope in this house. Yeah. Family business. Mom your your mom was Christian. Chola My mom too. Was Christian woman. No, oh she, yeah. Yeah, she. Was. How about your dad? No, he, he was not around. <clears throat> so I was, my mom was a single mom, but she didn't. She was a Christian woman. I was the one, uh, the diabla. The diabla. So when she was at work, <laughs> you were all like a traviesa. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Did you buy herself with all that money or? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I used to take care of her. And what was she saying? She was just thinking. Yeah. And I would just be like, Jesus. oh, ando bailando. I would tell her I was stripping. 
<laughs> oh, <he's>... <laughs> and <laughs> Nicolas. <laughs> yeah, Nicolas. <laughs> Sam's. I was, I was supposed to be dancing at Sam's. <laughs> Sam's hot. <laughs> oh shit, dude! And she was like, oh, "Okay," but I mean, she was just like, "Don't do that." And I was just like, "Ah, oh, just, just lying, just lying." And and my phone was like, do, "Every time your phone rings, you have to go." And I was like, "Oh, I know." You know, she eventually she you know she got it, but I was my phone would ring, I'd have to go. It was always my life was always in a hurry. Oh, it's ha- phone, Sam. Go, Sam is calling. Go. I gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they want a lap dance. I gotta go. Yeah, Samuel's Samuel's <laughs> calling again. Yeah, the first. Another the first... lap dance. I gotta go. <laughs> I think it's a good thing on uh, mobile did lap dance. No? Yeah, that's a, that's a good idea, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Get a stable going for yeah, yeah. Dude. mobile lap dance. <laughs> a mobile hand Eagle, job, right? bro. Mobile hand. Hey, well, then then that's like prostitution, though. No? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Right. yeah. So she kind of gave me an idea, and I started getting girls to dance and take them with me and to the clubs, and then like high rollers would be there, and then I would be like, "Hey, you, you, you like my friend? Oh, yeah, okay. You got you want her to mm-hmm. dance for you?" and just started doing that so i started getting like 15 girls a night <laughs> that wow, were doing yeah. dances and whatever private shows so i was hustling girls at fifth, six, 17. what nightclubs no they would just go like parties like oh. malibu parties like you know celebrity status mansions you know for pig yeah. diddy bro <laughs> Isn't that you know, for like, a bunch of trouble now, huh? Shit, dude. I school La Jolla shit, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Ballers, dog. <laughs> Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, and so that, what do they charge? Like three hundred an hour. Damn, that's cheap. Back then? Yeah, three hundred bucks an hour. Yeah. Well, you, well back then, dude, that's like a oh, thousand dollars. That's an arm. That's an arm and a leg, bro. I, back then, I, <laughs> hey, hey, but even even at three hundred dollars, even with three hundred half at three hundred dollars, <laughs> somebody that has <clears throat> a shitload of money still tries to say, "How about a hundred? <laughs> No, but then, wait, wait, I think yeah. the harder you make your money, hey, the harder you. Do you think that the people them. that had the most money were the cheapest? Yes, they didn't. Those are the ones that didn't tip the girls, and I would. I would That's the why they have the money. Me, Jen, can you please call them and tell him that he needs to tip? And I'd be like, dude, your girl, the girl was there for two hours. You're not gonna tip. Oh, but I didn't like this. They were making an excuse not to tip when they were okay. Why did Her you have her there my... for two hours? <laughs> what did they say? Three hundred an hour. Yeah. And, and how do these girls? What these girls look like? They were like 18, 19. And what would they so do? That's for, all that matters. What do they do for now? <laughs> Back then? Well, three hundred dollars an hour, but just think like they want what an eighteen they year old, like? nineteen year old. They're gonna pay five hundred an hour. But what they have like good teeth. Yeah. Good teeth. They, yeah. Weren't, they weren't tweaked out. Yeah. Do you have a good dental plan? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Sometimes, man, you know, you, you look, you look at through these escort sites. They were then, college and then, girls. Then, then you see that big toe. You go, damn, man, somebody closed a door in that toe, <laughs> or she's missing a hand. Going to <laughs> Where's my tip? Ouch. <laughs> Wait, so they dance for an hour or? Yeah, dance for an hour. They're not dancers. Wait, oh wait, I'm so confused <laughs> here. You know right? I, mean? I don't know what they were dancing. That's a lot of I, I, I that's hired a lot of them cardio, to dance. Bro. I, I, how about, and I made them sign. I'm hiring you to dance. That's a, and that's it. That's what not cardio. Do? I'm just thinking, damn, dude. How do you have that? So whatever it is. <laughs> they, so it's $300 and you get half. Um, so you're the driver? Um, I, sometimes I, I took them, but I wasn't the driver. No, they had their own private di- dri- drivers. I was just the one booking it. Because the $300 is basically to open the door. She's at the house. Yeah. Now what? Just make sure she's there. Call me when you check in. Call me when you check out. And whatever they do is none of my business. <clears throat> oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Can I say that? <laughs> oh, I, I get it now. He's, guy white, he's like, white, huh? I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> he's Asian. Oh, ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. You know, some people have to act dumb. Yeah. Uh, I'm native. Uh, I'm Native American. Oh, okay. Ma- many blue moons ago. <laughs> you All indigenous. Like, yeah, you don't know about okay. this? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I see. <laughs> <laughs> now I get it. Because I was wondering why the guy didn't tip the girls. Like, what's up with that? Just yeah, being what's cheap up? Or what? Being cheap. I she clogged my toilet, bro. <laughs> he, kept her, he kept her for two hours, so he's yeah. already paying six hundred. So he doesn't want to tip. I gave her. The that's tip, already a bro, lot, bro. though, man. That's that's more than half a rack. Yeah. Well, well he doesn't get all that. No. I know. You, <laughs> So, yeah. what year was this? Like, like the two thousand, early two thousands. Yeah. I'm doing the math over here. Right? Uh, I'm, I'm doing the inflation. <laughs> All right. It comes up to a thousand dollars. I'm doing inflation. Yeah. Because we're making, yeah, we're making about about eight thousand dollars a night. Each. No, I was. All I right. was making about eight thousand. I don't know how much. That's a lot of money. Making. Yeah, that's like, like that's like eight hundred bucks an hour. Eight thousand a night. You guys ever run into any weirdos? Oh yeah, many. Girls were like creeped out. Like, what's guys. the weirdest thing you like someone to ask for? 
one of them was like she walked in and he was dressed like a baby in diapers and he shitted on himself and he wanted her to change my him dream. And, and put a bottle <laughs> in his mouth and one of them was a millionaire like i mean i can't even say name i don't say names like that but he's very well known stay out of marina del rey just give her the hint. Stay goo, out of Beverly. Goo, goo, no, goo. Hollywood Hills. <laughs> the Google, the Google dolls. Google the baby part is not bad, but just the pooping hard, hard, you know, because you know you gotta find. You gotta. I would like. Do you have white? I would go I mean, hide <laughs> and then you get mad at me. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get it all out. <laughs> That's disgusting, dude. Yeah, they were like. So That's wild, dude. He had baby wipes ready too. Yeah, everything. The baby bottles. Like he was ready for his whole cosplay. <laughs> A cosplay in Raza. La cuña, homie. Dressed like cuna. a bebé be cagado. The, so she showed up with a, one of the little baby bags with diapers and baby powder. <laughs> with my little homie shit stain. Diaper rash. A little Similac. Similac. <laughs> Diaper rash. A little Medication. Humphreys to put him asleep. Oh, yeah. shit. Crazy wow, music. man. What else? Um, Dressed like girls. They they were dressed like they wanted to be females. They, she would come in dressed like a tranny, wearing that's, women underwear, like a De La Hoya, you know? The, that's normal like, now, like man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a regular Tuesday now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> For you or what? Hey, what? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, crazy stuff like that, man. What else? I think one of them was dressed like... <laughs> Just wigs. I mean, she would. They would run into crazy stuff. They were like, "Is it okay?" I'm like, "Why?" Well, I mean, is he, is he like harmless? He's not. Doesn't seem like he's gonna do anything to you. Mm. You feel for your life? No, we're fine. Okay, then just get that money, girl. That's crazy. How braid his hair? How you have um, <laughs> pain on me? <laughs> Give him a trance, bro. How you have these fantasies, <laughs> but you don't have the budget for these fantasies? Oh, that's <laughs> everybody so, on earth, so, bro. <laughs> So you have to like like the, she said that so they showed up and the girl was just, the the girl the guy was dressed like a baby, but you don't have that type of budget you know of three hundred dollars, so that means you gotta be dressed up like a baby already driving and go to Figueroa and go and p pull up to girls and yeah. go pull up to girls and go 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 they get in, they get in, bro, and they. What do you want? Put that baby bottle in my mouth while I drive, right? Yeah, <laughs> put your hands behind your back. <laughs> That's tight. Burp me. <laughs> it's full. Burp me. Yeah. Right oh there, when you're God. growing up and um doing the, the 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 drug game. When I was growing up, right there, it, there wasn't there was mainly um mainly crack. I guess meth came in afterward, but um, did heroin make a comeback in Boyle Heights? Not really, huh? No, not really. No. That's like an old, yeah, like old veteran. Old You're going to be a loser, huh? Yeah, you got to, yeah. Don't. Like if I'm on coke and I see someone smoking, doing heroin, I'll call the cops on them, bro. <laughs> well, now it's For real, so if I'm coked out and I see somebody in the house about to do heroin, and goes, you know what, bro? Call the cops right now, bro. We got a drug out of here, bro. <laughs> Call the cops. Uh, yeah, I'm diabetic, homie. Well, like, yeah. I'm diabetic, homie. When you're cooked out, you're on a good on, on a good Lineaskis, and you see somebody doing something stupid like smoking meth or crack. You know, you know, bro. This this is not the baby shower I want to be at, bro. <laughs> or needles are just weird, right? Yeah, yeah. That's just like AIDS. <laughs> when you see needles, like AIDS, you know. Like that was funny right now, man. <laughs> Driving around like a baby. How much? Fifty dollars? <laughs> Wah, too much. <laughs> <laughs> no tip, no oh, tip, bro. Yeah. Stay, stay it's not my bedtime. Stay empachado. <laughs> what a freak, Burn me. bro. Yeah, Those are weird, dog. Yeah, some crazy stuff. That's cool. but rather a couple of you know escorts know your story than you know the rest of the world, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you were like hiding flies and shit. Yeah, in the hood. <laughs> in the hood, bro. <laughs> what happened, eh? They, get, they show up. This girl showed up in a Pendleton nightgown, bro. She finessed me, dog. <laughs> and my Ben Davis. So why, did stick with why did they stick with you? Medical Not insurance. A pimp. What did she offer? Benefits. Um, what did you I offer? I was good to the girls. Like I would just, you know, they needed money. Mm. They would call me. Hey, they, can you give me a holly today? I would be like, yeah, let me call some people. I call a couple of judges. I knew. Hey, you, you want to see the girl? La, la, I got a new girl. They'd be like, all right, bring her over. So I had my little black book, you know. I'm going to pull out the gavel yeah. tonight. Better than my commercial agent. What, what judges? They, what are they judging, man? <laughs> man. Fucking sock chicks? From going to court in all my cases, I met a lot of lawyers and a lot of judges. Your traffic tickets, eh? <laughs> <laughs> 
and I hey. got away with a lot of stuff. Uh, <laughs> a lot of fools like to come, man. <laughs> Everywhere. A lot of hornudo guys, dude. Oh, yeah. Yeah. How many cases pending you have? None. None? I'm done. I'm no one. I don't want that life no more. How many cases <laughs> did you have before? I have 14 felonies at one time. But how many strikes? No strikes. So you beat them? No, I mean, I just got them expunged recently. Okay. So I'm, I'm trying to get my life in order. Hell yeah. You just work through all the madness. Yes, You're clean yes, now, yes. I'm clean, no parole, nothing. So Got I mean, your name back? Yeah. I mean, it's, they're still there, but I, I mean, it comes out Who were you of locked scan. up for the first time? Uh, transportation. But sales. you were little when you were young? Or what? Yeah, like, well, my first case, I was like 19. That's young. Oh, so you were an adult already. Wait, yeah. What was the charge? Transportation. And sales. Where you were at? Trafficking. Trafficking. Yeah. Transporting what? Like uh, Methamphetamine. Oh, well, de dónde a Oh, um, gonna coming back from Mexico. <laughs> Tijuana. Yeah. My cousin, uh, him and his girl went to jail because they were uh, bringing uh, they're like they're basically coy coyotes. Yeah. And then they, they did a whole here? bunch of times. Like they're getting five thousand dollars per job, and then they did it so many times, and then they finally got caught, and they went to jail for like man, like three years. Yeah. Yeah. They're out now. So. That was three years is nothing. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, coming back from Mexico, somebody snitched on me, and there I go. <laughs> Eight years with half. <laughs> there I go. <laughs> you did, you took that shit like a soldier. Who snitched man. on you? Whoever I was doing business with. So they got busted first? You got busted first and turned me in. You did. For lesser time? On three, you get set free. So oh. he got lesser time, or? I don't know what ever happened to him. But you never saw that person who, who snitched on you? Again. You don't even know who did it? Well, I know who he was because I was doing business with him, but he snitched on me, yeah. And mm -hmm. I never seen him after that. Was he in Mexico or United States? He <laughs> was He was here. He's a white boy. Son of a bitch. You, eight years? I so, got eight with half. <laughs> so I did four. So 19 and he came Then what to happened? You did four and you got out and what happened? I got out. I was out um, maybe two, three weeks. And I started slanging it up again because I needed money. Um and again, here I go, back to jail. When you got again. out of prison, you needed to throw it away. You, did you, like, have cash or did someone just front you? No, I they fronted me. Like, like how much? They were, like, hooking me up. Like, they gave me a pound. They're like, here, flip a it. A pound of meth? A pound of meth. To get back what did a pound of meth cost back, back then? Back then, it was, like, 8000 Damn, damn. So it's still less than, cro <clears throat> than coke. <clears throat> Yeah. Way less, huh? Because you can a manufacture. A pound of now coke costs six. Balls are like 30 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> Eight balls are $30. They're cheap. Because yeah. I know that um, cocaine costs what, um, for a pound, was like, it's like $35,000. Yeah. What the fuck? A key or a yeah. whole pound? Yeah. A whole pound. Because the thing is, you got to go back to Ecuador or Bolivia or Colombia yeah. to get that special pace. You can't just get yeah. it here. God right. damn. Because back in the day, back people in Riverside were blowing up labs, making that shit out of NyQuil and a yeah. bunch of so fed, strict, yeah, that. and just, you know, blowing shit Backyard up. Backyard shit, yeah. Totally. Fuck, dude. So you can't be a guy like working at Taco Bell doing cocaine, right? Like, <laughs> unless you got a hookup or a sugar daddy. Yeah. And I was going to say, there's different, too, like grades of meth, too. Mm. If you got glass, if you have cheap yeah. shit stepped on, shit, that brown blue shit. stuff. Remember on, on Breaking Bad, that uh -huh. blue stuff? Was That's like where it's supposed at. to be the fire. It turns blue in your pipe. <laughs> and, 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 and would you fuck with your own product? No, I, didn't, oh. never, I never did drugs. I was just like, I like money. So to me, I was always like You're addicted to money. Yeah, that was my drug. That was my high. So every money. night you just lay the money on the bed and count it out. And just throw it off on me. Yeah. Like, like, duck yeah, make it rain yeah. for myself. You do it, right? Yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> when I, when I, <laughs> you, get, you get hooked on, on fucking um, counting it, bro. And then when, um, yeah. just say you have 10000 and then the next day you have okay, $2 less, you go, ah. Oh. <laughs> You want to get it back. <laughs> now you don't yeah. have 10 Gs anymore. Yeah. No more 10 Gs. You got to go back and slang, slang some more. When you're out there <laughs> slanging um, in the beginning, were you slanging like like running up to a car or they already? I did that too. I, I was running up to a car. In the beginning, right? Yeah, in the beginning. On I Fifth saw, Street? Selling crack, yeah. And you just moved up to bigger packages yeah. and you know, more weight. Went to downtown, sold over there on Skid Row. So Man on Skid Row right there, man. Skid Row. It's, 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 That's um, where the money was it's at. It's open, huh? It's not really, it don't belong to nobody. Well, huh? it it does belong to a couple of people, but you Main know, Street. Yeah. But was it always on the street, or did you ever do like you know? No. No, you, just in the street, like just out there. You by never myself. had like a hotel where people were just coming in and out. Yeah, that too. I That's did that too for like right two, there. three months. I was posted up in a hotel. People would come to me. You got to blow that but spot then I, in I a blew, month. Huh? Yeah, I would. I would get burned, and I had to bounce. You know, hey, the cops are coming. I had to jump out windows. 
crazy Fuck. shit. <laughs> Off ass, huh? From the trap house, I had to jump through the window. Broke my leg one time. <laughs> Damn, dude. Crazy you gotta get shit. away. You got away? Yeah, I got away, yeah. It's all worth it. Yeah. It's like that show Euphoria. You guys ever seen that show? <laughs> no. I've seen a couple episodes. It's nuts, bro. Yeah? They show, uh, yeah. Well, break, you know drugs, that, what's yeah. that? Orange Breaking is a New Black? Orange is a New or, Black? Uh, That's exactly prison how show? women, pr- prison is. Uh, somebody who wrote that had to be in prison. Yeah. That's she exactly how. She was yeah. in prison. Every time I, I don't even like to watch that show because it just reminds me of everything that I went through. It's like, oh, I did that. Damn, you know? You know how in, um, in, in, um, in, in in the male prison, like if, like um, I guess when you when you get your um, your your, I guess when you go buy your, I don't know what they call that when you buy your candies and your soda. Commissary. Commissary. commissary yeah. The female get commissary too. Yeah. Do 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 other females that try to bully you and take your shit too, or just it it don't work like that like in the male prison. No, I mean it does. It does that bullies do happen. You know they kind of bully the paisa ladies. You know that but they're not sureñas. Like oh yeah, we're not. We don't politic like that. And shit. Yeah, we don't stab people like yeah. you know. We don't do all that stabbing or you know. Women don't like catch more time. They're gonna go home with their kids or whatever. But you know, what I mean, they don't. They don't do that. They don't like oh, shank you know, shank you up. They just fuck you, <laughs> fuck with your head to give you an eating disorder. They just get girlfriends yeah. in there. <laughs> so, does the thing same thing happen? You know, you know <laughs> just get you have girlfriends, girlfriends in there. there? No. Did you have girlfriend in there? No, they thought they were my girlfriends. Let's go. Are, are are women forced? I was taking their commissary. <laughs> oh, are women forced to have girlfriends like in male prisons? Like no. you know, like if a guy. No, you know, I mean, usually girls who are long termers, they they want a girl. I mean, because you're gonna be in there for a long time. So. Did you, you meet any some, women you need some there? Did <laughs> you meet any 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 women there who are doing life? Yes, a lot. Damn. A lot of women, actually. Do you see a lot of women in prison that were cut up for drugs? They were there because of their man. Yeah. Yes, a lot. A sh- like mo- the majority? Most of the paisas. The, the ladies. paisa ladies? Yeah, the paisa they ladies. They get cut with pounds. Yeah, out. they took the rap for their men. Wow. Yeah. And they're doing how much time? Like 10 years. Decades. Uh. Yeah, 10, 15. Because I saw this video one time, and it was this old as abuelita, man. And they <laughs> caught her. That bitch had like about 25 keys in that code, bro. Damn. Gone forever or what? A fuck old lady, man. She probably got a bigger heart attack. Shit. Yolanda's gonna come out before her. Dude. They told her they're gonna buy her a. a she was a, a, wearing those shoes. She didn't even know, bro. They told her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm boy, ass on me. Damn. Con estos zapatos me agarraron. I was in there with the Manson family girls. The what? I was in there with the Manson families. Damn. So they were probably older, way See, older like, now. They were, I mean, they're old. They like look like señoras with gray yeah. hair, viejitas. One of them just died a little while yeah, ago. Yeah, right? she just died. One, what two of saying? them died. One, one of them died, I think, of cancer. Nothing. They what, what, were just um, walking around with the Bible, thinking they're all Christian, and just. Uh, what prison were you in? CIW in Chowchilla. Chowchilla. That's yeah. no cow, no, no, North Cow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Chowchilla, and CIWs in Corona. That's Norco, right? Yeah. Yeah. So the, the male guards, are we having sex with inmates. Course. Like in the TV, because I was gonna, <laughs> I was gonna tell you a story that I heard when I was a little kid about that prison. Maniacos. The guys used to go to the fence and get blowjobs from the prisoners back in the day. Yeah. In like the seventies and sixties, and it stopped in the eighties. Oh, they still do that. Oh, really? So <laughs> the fence? What fence? At, Where at, that? The, at that prison in Norco, because it used to be an old naval station. The guys would get had by women. You, they would go up to the when the girls <laughs> were on, men. on like recess both, or something. Oh, they're both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And they would go over there and like dudes would get men would get blown. It would cut. They used to call it blowjob row or something. It's perfect for yeah, you, bro. It's chicken wire fence. Yeah. Chicken wire fence. Back in the day, <laughs> the fir, one of the first Blow barbers pops. they used to talk Rita, about. Where's it that at? Yeah. <laughs> in Norco, bro. North Corona. Where's bro. that road yeah. at? <laughs> it's off a of Hamner <laughs> dog. I, I remember my friend told me this story. <laughs> my friend, my friend, now you know. You ever meet a, a, some black dude that used to live in a project named Delroy? No. And Vinny. Well, anyways, Vinny said that when he was in this pl- this um prison, Mi- Miraloo or Pisco, I don't know the name of the prison. <laughs> Waterloo. Yeah, Lomas. I don't know, bro. Loma. But um, he said that they attacked a guard, bro. The women? He, yeah. And he said that they were having sex with him. <laughs> And um, he couldn't get hard no more. They put a pencil? No, they put a pencil through his feet. Yeah. Or, the, wow. No, through a chef, through the pee hole. I the never pee heard hole. that one I heard, They were humping them, bro. I heard that story. 
Because we used to spray. I used to do pest control. Do you uh, a lie? No, I yeah. I think it's a lie. But I did I did a pest control at the camps at the fire camps. Oh. Saugus. <laughs> no, but then there was rumors about that, and when we would go to the girl, they would start talking. What are they talking? About? Some fucking story eh, about they raped some dude with a pistol in his dick. Eh? That would be an urban legend. Then. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, I think it'll hurt you more than it'll actually work. Because they'll right? poke. You'll die. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you'll yeah. bleed to death, bro. And will poke the girl so he walks too. Around come like, to death. Yeah. He walks around like the Yorona. Where's my pito? Yeah. <laughs> Where's my pito? <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> 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 my pito. Wear no shoes. <laughs> Oh my god! Dude. I saw I saw this movie in Spanish. You remember those movies that were showing in Channel Twenty Two? This guy, uh, he was pretending to be a girl, and he went to women's prison. And all the women found out he was a guy, and they were like, they would have sex with him. And he, I remember, there's like a scene where like you know, like this guy had sex with like twenty women. He was all tired already, and they kept pulling him. It's like those, you remember like those? No, no, no! It's an actual movie. So it's like Buena Vista we, porno. No, we watch. <laughs> It's like those movies were always kind of dirty, like like very yeah. sexual, uh, like the Spanish ones, the Mexican ones. Man, Remember? what are these Spanish people watching? Like, Alarma. Like los, los, los verduleros. Remember that shit? Los verduleros. Alarma. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Los verduleros, like those, those movies, you know, those guys were all like. Déjeme ver el gusano. Yeah. Ya no. Tengo un plátano. I know, bro. Remember, like, remember, remember like those movies were like the guy in the bus would be like. What channel was this? Channel That's 22. Like Spanish what? Cinemax over here, bro. <laughs> Cause it was like those guys were all horny like at the bus. You remember like uh, hitting on the girls? Remember? Like, Pornhub. Porn That's Pornhub. <laughs> Bank bus. <laughs> World <laughs> famous. <laughs> Hop on this one, baby doll. So what happened to your um, your your um, your layer with all those chicks? They got hooked on drugs. Or they what? got hooked on meth, and I just lost all my all my top. Shoot that big one, other little. Yeah. yeah. And who got them? Uh, the the clients or what? Or just mm -hmm. fucking. They were part of the clients? I met, we would go out to clubs, like really high end clubs, like in Hollywood, and we would meet all these people. And right there, we were just like, hey, I, oh, who's your friend? El Rodel. Oh, well, you, wanted, huh. you wanted her to go and chill with you? And they're like, okay. And then we'd just talk business, and it would just come up like that. You think another hit in the flute? Florentine yeah. Gardens? No, more like El Rodeo, Pico Rivera. Like the Mondrian Hotel on Sunset, like House of Blues. House like of Blues. Wow. The, yeah, the Sky Bar. Remember the Sky Damn, Bar? Damn, that's across the street from the comedy yeah. store. Yeah, the high end places. The Avalon. Yeah. Wow. Whiskey Damn. Go Go, all those, all those clubs. Yeah. Yeah, all those metalheads. Rockstar dude. stuff. Yeah. Those guys have syphilis for sure. <laughs> those those metalheads. <laughs> yeah. Condoms. <laughs> use condoms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was active. <laughs> so when you got out of prison, what's the first thing you did? Took a shower. Dyed my hair because my yeah. canas were coming out. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want nobody to see my canas. When you were in... Um, <laughs> my chola you, roots were out. <laughs> <laughs> when you were locked up, did you ever have to make like fake makeup in there? Yeah. Like, would get, you, like lipsticks? I would get um, magazines. Like say it was a blue page. I'd rub toothpaste on it and it turns blue in your hand. So then I would put eyeshadow right here. Yeah. What page? Uh, magazine any magazines you get in there like any any magazine whatever color it is like if it's a green page a blue page so whatever color it was it was blue because we were wearing blues so i had to match my my yeah. eyeshadow so i would get the blue one rub toothpaste and put it on my eyes and it would be have blue eyeshadow so wow. when i get visits it would be like where'd you get makeup from and i'd just be like oh the magazine with toothpaste <laughs> we'll try that shit though. you should do some videos yeah yeah <laughs> How about um, lipstick? It was the Eminem, huh? The Eminem or or the Jolly Ranchers? Jolly Ranchers. Yeah. Now laters. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> did you ever make? Did you ever make food in there? Like prison food? Yeah, ch chamoy spreads. You know, menudo. <laughs> menudo. <laughs> With cornets. I saw one where they. <laughs> oh wow! For the hominy. Wait, yeah. Wait, wait. How do you make menudo? With <laughs> Damn. We used to get people for that worked in the kitchen, so we'd have menudo, we'd have the juice, the potato juice. Like you'd soak the corn nuts until they like puff up. Yeah, they puff. We had to leave it overnight so it could puff up in the morning. Wow! And then we throw the meat in there, yeah. carne from the package. So the corn get. gets soft. Yes. Like, so like, 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 like harmony. Yeah, it would taste like menudo. <laughs> we have menudo in there. <laughs> Damn man, you really gotta wait. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> you gotta set the timer for yeah, the next day. Yeah, I know a day. good spot. <laughs> But it tastes good? Yeah. Well, in there, it did. Enough, Everything right? tasted good enough. Yeah. You, I mean, we didn't have a choice, but it was like the best. Tamales. We make tamales in there. Like, in, in like, so out of Doritos. Like, you were soaked the Doritos, right? <laughs> Something like that? Yeah, with water. How, How long do the, the Doritos take to soak? 
like three minutes. And then you microwave it, right? It was hot because we had a stinger. So the the water was we boiling. So it would just, you know, right away compress. And the bag, we leave it in the bag and just close it in. And it would just the, the make hot, the masa. The hot wire, the hot plate. Yeah. The hot wire, the hot plate. Damn, dude. So when you came out of prison, what you, 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 what you been up to? Like, I, I know you, I know you've been doing a lot of podcasts. What's your main goal? Well, I'm selling. I'm a reseller right now. I'm selling toys, collectibles, appliances. That's what I'm doing right now. My main goal is to go into acting, go into acting, or maybe oh, work yeah. for in production. But I want, you know, I want to work into the entertainment. Get into showbiz. Yes. Yeah. You should do tutorials on how to do the makeup and stuff like that. <laughs> Even like you know, like the. Menudo and all that stuff. I think that's start with your own little that, YouTube. That's show a cool the shtick right there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I want to. I just don't. I don't really know a lot of people, you know. So it's like, you know, you have to know people, you know. You know, it's Rizzo. Not who you know. <laughs> we, we we can help you, man. Yeah, that's all right, cool. cool. Yeah. I appreciate that. Oh, yeah. Rizzo does videos every day. You could like yeah yeah do cooking with loca. That's a good one. Yeah, Check especially do with the, loca. The, <laughs> the corn nuts. That's a. I didn't she know you could corn nuts, bro. I don't know you can puff them up. Like your chest, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, yeah, we'll miss We're gonna make some for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll do that. That sounds good. Hey, Martha like Stewart. Corner. Martha Stewart wrote a, a a book about her being in jail, like what she cooked. Yeah. Yeah, that's a dude, that's a good like that. Yeah, that's. Yeah. How they cooking with her? No man. Oh, lucky. But you. I did a show in prison at, at Lompoc. Oh what. I was in Lompoc and I and I when I was I did a show for the guards, and um, the main guard we walked into where the where the inmates sleep, he just walked in there like nothing. He goes, "Ladies," and everybody ignored him. <laughs> "Ladies," <laughs> everybody ignored him. But then, then I saw a fool that was in that from San Fernando, from San Fernando, and he was in he was in rehab with me. And then was John, and I and I right away I recognized it was hey John. And then she looked at me like, he, told, he just said, what's up? And he went about his business. I guess he didn't want a, no reminder of being out. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hide me, bro. He had a fucking tattoo, bro, of, of um, from, he was from the valley, but he had, it, it had, um. Uh, the tramp stamp? No, Vallero. <laughs> I have Vallero, because he's from the valley. Yeah, man, hardcore. Del Valle, homie. <laughs> Del Vallero, homie. But that's the closest, man. And um, lucky, man. I got arrested. I got arrested, but then always got out the next day, man. Somebody bailed me out. <laughs> so your drug dealer bailed you out. Yeah, man, <laughs> my, my drug dealer bailed Damn. me out. You were probably his favorite customer. <laughs> <laughs> my boss bailed me out, man. Like he put up the money, and I was out, I was out like in eight hours. I remember when I got out, the same cop saw me. At nighttime, they were all sad when they saw me. Oh, that's funny, There he dude. is again. They go, how did you get out? Man, I, my mom, my aunt, they won the lottery, man. And they say, they I, don't be, I don't belong in there for doing nothing. I didn't do nothing. They say you guys can't spell, bro. You guys fucked up the report. <laughs> so they put down my pants, and they were checking my pockets in front of everybody. After? I didn't, I, yeah. Again? I didn't have nothing again. What the fuck? Fucking <laughs> mad harassment, huh? Already yeah. No, I was already arrested, but I got bailed out, and those same cops saw me at nighttime the next day. And he did that again. Yeah, they they haters, they, 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 they yeah, took out, I took out my sweater, and they were dusting it in front of everybody, and I put down my pants right there. <laughs> Toma. And, and, and I and I had to go inside, and and then and then my shoes too. Yeah, pretty, and then oh yeah, and then they took they opened my milk and they dumped it on the ground. Your they milk? Took all, the, all the milk out. What? Those morros no van a I remember I told the cop, I went like this, damn. I said, I said, damn, they just closed. I I, now, what are we getting cereal with? <laughs> Orange juice, I had all bro. planned out, bro. I had, the, I had the fake Apple Jacks, Apple Dapples. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's what you thought of. Apple Juan, What's bro? up, fool? So um, what's your Instagram? People can, our fans can follow you. Jen Cefalu. How do you spell that? Uh, C-E-F-A-L-U. Your mother's white? No, Italian. Italian, right? Casanich. Italian and Mexican. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me la pelas. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to ask her about that, uh, the You Save Homegirl. You got to a fight oh. with Jenny from the block, right? You, you, <laughs> you and your homegirl oh, showed Jenny up. Jenny from the block. Oh, no, oh, no, not, not Jenny from the block. Bro. <laughs> Jenny 6 9 right? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Jennifer, Jennifer, Jennifer Lopez, she that was my in. sister's friends. Yeah. So when she was doing that mm -hmm. vi music video and at Pecan Park, 
They broke in. Uh, yeah. That was with Ja Rule. It was Ja Rule. They filmed the video right there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. That's J-Lo. That's J-Lo, bro. J-Lo, they broke into her. Her. They broke into her. Somebody, somebody's um, dressing room. No, they stole all the makeup from the makeup from her makeup. <laughs> and they walked out. He goes, fuck that bitch. She could afford more. But it, it, but they didn't know it belonged to the makeup crew. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck that bitch. You could buy more. That's the only thing I said. What are they coming over here for? It, it, it's just like when we were in Tijuana and they broke into the... And they saw the cameras, remember? And the cars? Yeah, yes. They broke the window of the SUV. And Laredo. All the lenses and oh, fuck. That yeah. was... That was Brownsville when we got Brownsville. Oh, they, no, they, no, they, no, no. This was Mexico. Yeah, oh, you, that was yeah. you guys too, though. When the... We're, we're filming something in uh, the Tijuana. Camera quit, yeah, a reality right? show. And they broke <laughs> in the cars and took all the cameras, the memory cards. Yeah, they do that over there. Dude... Uh, They're like, oh, they had to be, yeah. I do it. Like, no, oh, me they, didn't they, they huh. it The director wanted to cry so bad. I'm in the camera with it. Sad. So you've been, um, you've been in how many podcasts? I you've been what part? You've been in a lot of podcasts, right? Indicted, uh, Chicano Tube, um, Pocho yeah, Live. But this is the main one, man. American Cholo. This is the main one. What's up, fool? Yeah, podcast. What's up, fool? La loca, fool. <laughs> we got listening all over the world. That's right. Hey, That's the man. So, yeah. <laughs> so what happened? How'd you save Homegirl? Uh, they were going to jump her, right? It was a big well, old they thing. Jumped, they, jumped they jumped her. Jumped Jenny 69. Yeah. They Riverside. jumped her. They jumped Who jumped her? her? Um, Jennifer Lopez. No, wait, what? Miss <laughs> Lady, oh, don't trip Miss Lady Pink's and her Homegirl. <laughs> They jumped Ooh. her at a video shoot. Miss Lady Pink, she's a Chicano rapper. Um, I guess they were doing a video shoot. Jenny Six and I was doing a video shoot with Kilo. And Lean like, like a Cholo. Lean like a Cholo guy. Kilo. And they went in there and they, they had an issue with her about something that she was listening to, some music that she wasn't supposed to be listening to. Yeah. South Park Mexican? SPM. Yeah. And they had a problem with that. Why she was listening to it? Why is there a problem with her listening to that? He's a chomo, right? Because he's a chomo. Because he's yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's been a convicted chomo. Yeah. So they had a problem with that because they're, they're high power soldadas. So they wanted, <laughs> they wanted to, you know, make a point <laughs> and jump her because she's, you know, she's a, they prey on the weak probably, yeah. you know. So they jumped her. And then, so I had a pro- I have a, pro- a problem with bullies, you know. So I'm like, no, that ain't gonna happen. Is there a cloud chasing jumping? Yeah, kind of. I don't know. So what happened? You jumped in there, where you roundhouse somebody? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I would have been there. I would have, yeah, I would have lined them up. Are <laughs> <Who are> you? <laughs> her and her home girl. She called somebody out. Well, last week. Who who you call out? Miss Lady Pinks. Yeah, I told her like she, you know. Call her wants, right here. She man. wants to take the fade. What's up? I already called her out twice. She doesn't even reply back, so oh. whatever. <laughs> You're doing it right here? Hey, guy. <laughs> Where you at? Hey, Lady Pink. I'm dropping the, the location. Hey, Lady Pink, this is the first time I've heard of you. Eh? <laughs> and you're, you're, you're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I was going to say, uh, not, not, not I'm the... Is she a rapper? Hold on. Yeah. I never that even photo heard up. her music before. But now that I'm defending, but like I, I put like you know like on Pandora, you know like you know a Chicano rap, and sometimes they just play random music, you know, and like yeah. the fucking SPM, he'll pop up, you know. I'm like, you know, so it's not like I'm trying to listen to that fool, you know, but like, yeah, it just you know like it, it, it goes along with like Lil Quete and all those other, you know, like. Well, Chicano be careful! Rappers. Don't tell her that because she might come over here and jump you. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was wondering like why Jenny Six Nine yeah. didn't stick a rooster on him, dude. dude. <laughs> I don't know. She. So I, I, <laughs> I, guy you I just called her out and told her what's up. But you know, I don't like bullies. You know, I don't think I don't think you should jump anybody one on one. You know what I mean? That's real. Yeah, well, yeah, man. That's real. Yeah. Fucking. Uh, yeah, fucking. Uh, what's it going? This is lady. This is. I can't see. You can put it up. <laughs> you put those. The. Uh, yeah. There you go. Where you at, Essa? How many followers you go up? <laughs> Where's she from? Miss Miss Lady Pink's. Oh shit, dude! I'm from the San Gabriel Valley, dude. That's, <laughs> that's your home. Well, I mean, I live there. I grew up here. No, no, no. Yeah, I'm back in Monterey Park. Yeah, Monterey Park. Yeah, Monrovia. What? Monrovia. Rose me. So you have you been have you worked on any, any movies since? No, no, I haven't done anything yet. How long music. Have you been out? How long have you been out? Two years. Oh, two years. Damn. Yeah. No no. no work. Just selling my just selling my toys, my pellets. Uh, and so you have I'm a looking, dog. Yeah, I'm looking for and a you dog. You have a dog. Yeah, I have a dog. How old is your dog? My dog's five. She's looking for 
I'm looking for a job, production assistant, anything. So, Hire you have a me. camera? Yeah, yeah, I got a phone and a camera. Right here. Uh, <laughs> or I'll buy one. I'll take one from you. <laughs> Buzzfeed, uh, Me Too. You guys looking for a, a, a production assistant? assistant. I, uh, I got a phone. <laughs> Not right here. Yeah, no, but yeah, Me Too or Better Life. Girls, you yeah. get choked out. <laughs> she does choke yeah. outs. Choke outs. Yeah. Blackouts. You have a passport. Yes. Yes. I have a passport. International player with a passport. Yes. No, I'm not Canada. I can't go to Canada. Yeah, Canada, Canada. <laughs> Everywhere but there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Canada, you can't? Because they, they show our record with the yeah. United States. Canada That's right. Even DUI yeah. yeah. Really? They see United States records. Yeah. Didn't they turn, around, they turn around Chris? What's his name? Chris Brown's Chris tour, Brown's whole tour because yeah. um, oh, of his yeah. allegations. Oh, yeah, yeah. The domestic. Because they got in first and they told him no, huh? Yeah. I think wow. So what have you been doing lately? I know you've been doing podcasts, but, but you, like, you just been putting your name out there, right? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. good. Yeah, I've been doing that. You have merch? Yes, I got a couple, I got some shirts that I'm doing pre-orders on. I'm, you know, I got stickers, cups, mugs. What do those shirts say? La Loca. La Loca. <laughs> and who yeah. gave you that nickname? Some local. My homies. <laughs> My homeboys. How do you know Laura, your friend? Laura, she's uh, from work. I, I met her a long time ago at a job that I, that she got me. Where'd you work at? <laughs> uh, PV Jobs. I don't know what that is. It's a place where they help uh, people that get out of jail. Like hiring agency? Like Job Corps? It's a nonprofit, and they help um, like convicted job. felons. It's kind of like, so, yeah. So, like so you've been to homeboy, homeboy industry? No, never. <clears throat> That's funny, man. I used to, I used to have, I have a joke. People ask me, they, they had, um, homeboy industry help you? They help me go to rehab. <laughs> they help me to get no job. They told me to go get sh go get shot ten times. They'll give me the keys to the van. <laughs> it's so I said I had a job. I have a, a joke. I said I went to a job in the homeboy industry. They asked me if I've been shot. I said no. Well, we, we normally hire people that have been shot at least eight times. <laughs> you you came qualify? to the wrong place. <laughs> I goes, guess I don't qualify either. <laughs> and then I, I, they asked me where you're from. I said, well, you don't have enough enemies that work here, so we can't hire you. Uh, <laughs> where are you from? Where are you yeah, yeah. from? <laughs> I asked you first. He goes, do you have any, you have any uh, references? I don't know, no ratas, eh? <laughs> No, not no ratas or PCs. <laughs> what's what's so you got home? You got homies that are still locked up for like yeah. bad shit, yeah, murder and shit. Never for life. I got lifers, yeah. yeah. How about homegirls? Like, girls you grew up with who didn't do shit but are doing shit all the time. Yeah, there's. I got a lot of lifers, females and males. For what murder? Murder, attempted murder. Yeah, they're still in there. I still take care of them. I look out for them. Yeah, I have a funny, I have a joke. I have a joke. I said, I met this girl one time, man. It was so good. I was sending money to her man. Her, I was sending, <laughs> I was sending money to her man in prison. What? It was, it was so good. Bomb. I was putting money in his books. I don't want no <laughs> drama in our life. <laughs> He's happy. Everybody's happy. Right? <laughs> What's the most that people can send to a, a person that's locked up? I, now mm. I think it's 300. A month? Yeah. And there are people who, are, who, who, um, Legally make that money in prison or illegally make that money in prison? Mm, that's people who are sending money to you. In there, I don't know what if, what, what kind of money they make inside, but out here you can only send them 300 through, through JPay, I think. What happens if you leave prison and you have money on the books? Yeah, what happens if you leave prison you have money on the books? I'm what, sure they, do they give it to you? Right? Yeah, you get a check. A check, right? I think I paroled with like 5000 when I got out. Damn. Yeah, you, got, Damn. you got more than me when I got out. <laughs> Did you ever hook up with anybody online people like 90 Day no, Fiance? No, because we didn't have any computers in there. Locked up abroad? No, I didn't have anybody to do things like that for me when I was in there. Like, you know, people, you know, my friends weren't doing any of that. We didn't have phones or computers. You didn't have pen pals? Man, I wish. But I had a fan club, though. I had all my homies and writing to me. I had a fan club. <laughs> I would get a lot of mail. He need a he need like a calendar my, or something. Well, yeah, right. That's, yeah. That's that's my boyfriend funny. used to send me like that's a funny. lot there of mail. No, there was no there was no there was no um email, but oh fool was still sending me dick pics. Actual yeah. dick pics. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking photos. They were all on my yeah. wall. The <laughs> wall of shame. <laughs> <laughs> but now can people have phones in jail? Is it different now? No. 
No, no, it's... they smuggle them in there, dude. Really? Have you um? Have have I know that you get you meet people that hit you up all the time at freaks, even though on your Instagram, right? <laughs> yeah. Because I know that I know that um, there's a page now where a, a woman could just she all she does is rate penises. What? Where like is you, it? That for, for real? <laughs> no, there's a page called RateMyPenis.com. What? You just log in, and people send you a picture of your penis, and all you gotta do one or five. Or they humiliate you. They either wanna be rated or humiliated. Oh, they wanna be rated yeah. or humiliated. Yeah. So as long as like you don't have to show nothing, all they do is show you your penis, and you gotta say, mm, "Limpy." <laughs> and, and, you know, or limpy. limpy. <laughs> I'm glad you paid on Tuesday for a hard on today. Oh no, Viagra. You need yeah. Viagra. <laughs> Is that a Facebook page or just a that. website? Yeah, man. And it's a website. I don't think you can do that. How do you guys know about you, this? You can do that on Facebook. Because I'm horny. Because no. no. I was gonna tell you, like all the Facebook pages up now, like uh, women are saying, like, are we with the same guy? Because they put the guys on blast and are like, uh, Shut yeah, up. they put them on. I'm out of the game. Yeah. Cause uh, I was at, uh, I'm glad I'm out the game. <laughs> so and, yeah. and they shame dudes, and then supposedly now like <laughs> guys are actually trying to sue people wait, 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 for putting wait, wait. them on blast. They show the, the penis picture. or the guy. No, no, the picture. <laughs> Basically, guys that are two time, they're players. Yeah. They're, you know, where's this page on on Facebook? <laughs> are we dating the same guy? This is for women. What? Yeah, I don't um, have Facebook, yeah, so. I don't know. Okay. So yeah. it, is it just? Because I was at my, uh, I was at the chiropractor's office and I was talking to uh, the Fucking girl that works in there. Chiropractor, they have nothing else to put on TV. Well, like. she's muscles, well man. my whole thing is like you have a lot of. Uh, so she's talking about like you know that you know just people, women trying to protect themselves just because all these dating apps are so crazy these days. So, no, nah, trust me, I was like, oh, but that's a good way to protect yourself, I guess. No, the fool on that thing that we're talking. No, but that's how they presented it to me, and I was like, I was like, that's good, man. Have like, you, you put them on there? No, so, 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 so I guess to protect themselves. Because I know Howard. St- on Howard Stern, there's the. Do one. you know this man? <laughs> on Howard Stern, there was a page that was like, pretty much with the escort server they were promoting. What was it? One, uh, uh, the one with the. Oh man! Oh, dude! Speaking of Howard Stern, homeboy died. Ralph, oh, yeah. rest in peace, uh, dude. That came out of nowhere. Dude. You were into Howard Stern? Yeah. Ralph, his personal assistant, his personal friend, died today. Stylist. Oh, Stylist. Stylist. Stylist he did. started calling Howard Stern in 1985 when he was 15 years old. Wow. And he will. They were a, a, a interview when he called. He goes, "Yeah, Howard Stern, can you play that that the song game with Connie Stevens? My mom loves it. Put your mom on the air. Let's see." Yeah. He goes, he goes, he goes. Yeah, we're gonna put that song on, but Connie Stevens, because you love it. I hate that song. I hate <laughs> Connie Stevens. <laughs> Who am I talking to? <laughs> no way. That's she funny. Didn't know. That fool dated Robin too, huh? No, he didn't. Date Ralph? Him. Yeah. Oh. No. What well, is it? No, I think. So you've been doing podcasts. No. So um, so you want to be an acting? Yeah. You're building your social that. media. Are you building your yeah. TikTok? Yes. That's yeah. good. Yeah. You gotta put content every day. You have that I angle. Think. You have that angle. The whole, you know, went to prison. You have, you know, the the cooking stuff. Yeah. That's a, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you have a photo of you when you got locked up? No, I didn't want to take pictures in there. <laughs> I I look like shit. I saw the, I saw this one video of the lady that was she showed her when she was got locked up, bro. And then he showed her her picture now looking all badass. Everybody gets yeah, my boyfriend always wanted to take what? pictures during thought- visitation because they had visitation and you take the pictures right there. But I didn't want to because my hair was all gray coming out. And I was like, I got gray hair very young. So I was like, no, I'm not having she those little pictures. To la bruja, don't, eh. don't want it. <laughs> la canuda. <laughs> don't want it. <laughs> but, but la they señora. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> they don't have workout equipment for women like they do for guys? No. Oh. Bro, that's oh. all you're eating is chips and shit. But there's a lot of potatoes, yeah. right? A lot, a lot yeah, of we get fat bread, in there. Homie. We get fat in there. <laughs> we walk uh. in and we roll out. In <laughs> <laughs> your great. Stone Boyle Heights, right? Now? Yeah. How do you feel about the... I mean, it's not really being gentrified, right? Yes, feel, it is. I feel Boyle Heights kind of fights back a little. Well, the new bridge, you know, everything. Oh, yeah. Bridge. Do you like the new bridge? Yeah, I love it. Badass. It's Have you cool. been on it? Yeah, I, I haven't I, been on it. You haven't no? been there, dude? No. They, they have quinceañeras on that shit, bro. <laughs> yeah. Nuts. They, they, they cut they hair on, on it. <laughs> the barbers. They stop all that shit. The side, do they still have the cranes, the back holes and stuff? Yes. It's still construction, mm-hmm. though. Yeah. On it. LA side. So you, yeah, grew up, LA you, grew up, you, you grew up You grew up. by that bridge? Yes. Okay. By Hollywood Park? Yeah. Right there by the Pizza Loca <laughs> and the what? Domino's. It's to be a Domino's. No, the Domino's, yeah. It's to be a Domino's. Yeah. They burned down. 
Yeah. The Domino's, the laundromat right there. By the there. Safeway. I lived right there in Chicago when I oh, was okay, a, a okay. baby, yeah. And then Wabash and Fickett right there by... Uh, Oh, okay. So yeah. you grew up in Bo High School. That was my first library, bro. The Wabash Library. <laughs> oh, yeah, right there? Yeah. I, I fucking rent. I got took out under the giant. No, under the uh, Shack and the Beanstalk, bro. I used and to spray that my library. Mom never, <laughs> my mom never took me back to, to the library to take it back, bro. You got back credits that you fucking book, credit. bro. You got back credits. my credit. You're five years one. old, dude. You owe like 40 Daddy, you're five G's now, huh? Back credit. <laughs> <laughs> they used to charge you back in the day, huh? Yeah, yeah. Otra vez. like a quarter, like a week or something. They, that's true, right? Yeah, that it, thing. You no, I think I paid like books? twenty bucks one time when I didn't turn my book in for yeah. like, like six months, like nineteen dollars. So you have kids? I have two kids. Yeah. You're married? No. You have a daughter, right? A daughter. And what does she do? She's a chef. Oh, chef Boyardee, bro. <laughs> she cooks bomb. That's so cool. <laughs> she cooks better than me. I only know how to make spreads. Yeah, hey, dude. <laughs> Gourmet <laughs> spreads. <laughs> hey, I trip on, on, on people who don't know <laughs> how to cook. That's yeah. a, It blows my mind, dude. Yeah, like a trip. You know how to cook? Basic you know. cooking, at least, you know? Like, I you don't know cook, I don't clean, but I got this ring. That's good. Oh, shit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the people that don't know how to make an omelet, dude? No, dude. Chorizo. <laughs> chorizo omelet. Yeah, chorizo. That's yeah. fine. You know, how, you to know make, how to cook? Hell yeah. Damn. When you, you know how to make no fried eggs and shit? Yeah. The simple stuff. Soup. The basics. Yeah, yeah basics. Fideo. Spaghetti. Yeah. They Fideo. can survive. Fideo? Yeah. Shit, those are yes. basics. Yeah, sopa. Fideo, Sopita. yeah. Sopa, so eso, yeah, man. Lasagna? No. I do. I learned a lot from fucking TikTok, man. Like, making food. Like, you always send me... Felipe always sends me fucking videos <laughs> of food, like like recipes. recipes. Every day, I'm like, I like to see what it looks like <laughs> at the end. Though. I like that blueberry cheese, blueberry cheese, cheese, uh, that, that, grilled uh, cheese. That, I said yeah, everybody. That, how they wrap it with the cheese, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. But the way they make it, and the cheese that they use, that's what. And then you know, obviously buttering the bread and the red. The brie cheese, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. Can't we, do that shit with Wonder Bread. You were with me in um over there in fucking um. That was Seattle with that. We 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 spread we that we, we good, fucking um bro. chair that grilled cheese. That was basically just okay, man. That. I, that that cheese didn't fuck with my stomach, by the way. <laughs> cause it's not normally, mozzarella. Cause dude. normally I, I I like okay, you know, you know, like lactose intolerant. It's not Swiss or nothing. I or think a, a little feather start coming out. Yeah. You know, it's gonna come out like 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 broken glass. <laughs> <laughs> but um, now, man, nothing, dog. So it was delicious. Well, I didn't get a lot of it either. Oh, and also ate that grilled cheese in Napa, so that worked out good. Yeah, but it, it's a cheese. It, uh, it's the type of queso que usan. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. not just a regular, you know, dude, fucking lunch cheese. What's your shit. favorite food? Italian. Italian melapelas. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Mexican. Maron. Yeah, Italian. Like what? Um, sugar pa- cheese? I like pasta. Yeah, sugar like, cheese. Like fi- fi- fido with a... <laughs> <laughs> the spaghetti at fucking Shakey's is bomb. Pasta. Pasta. <laughs> fido <laughs> with, fido <laughs> with Parmesan uh, cheese. Bow tie pasta, eh? Yeah. I like my pasta with the I like Mexican food. Get the best, Mexican food. Factory. I like my pasta with a little personality. Hey, dude. <laughs> But fair pizza place, Rios, huh? Rios, <laughs> Bob. That place is good though, dude. Whatever you want to say. People who boil heist, oh. all we know is pizza is Montebello Rios yeah. or Luigi's. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Brooklyn pizza is good right now. Cesar Chavez, it's oh, no. fire. Yeah, it's, it's new, it's right? Like a, it's like, like a new place. Yeah. Did you ever go to the new pizza in the projects? Um, uh, fuck, was it? It's uh, on Seventh Street. Oh, Purgatory. What? Purgatory. Uh, I, I, yeah, I've been there. Yeah, I only went there one first. time. Yeah, yeah it was a, good. A pizza but loca there. When I was in there, <laughs> eating, when I, yeah, when I was eating there for the first time ever, 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 I was very nostalgic there because I know <laughs> that used to be a Chinese restaurant when I when I was a little kid. Oh, and the projects. Yeah, when the, when the, when it was happening, it was a very <laughs> lively street, bro. Right there where that was, that was um that was a Chinese restaurant. It was called Donna's. Donna's? Oh, yeah, Donna's. Donna's. And it, she used to have the Donna's special for five dollars, <laughs> bro. Double a cheeseburger, fries, and oily ass <laughs> soda. Hey, what about those 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 uh, burger spots that have the family special? It's like fucking jams. Like, yeah, five burgers, five fries. Like, Troy's twenty four yeah. hours. Yeah, Troy's for like fucking Troy's. thirty bucks. Yeah, now, yeah. Back then it was like hey, tw- like ten bucks. Now Troy's. lucky Greek, eh? <laughs> yeah, the crazy Greek. When yeah. I'm, bro, when you were like in the walking around the streets, you know, where, where you were like known, like if you were to stand in the corner, people try to shoot you, try to uh, gang bang with you, yeah, beat you up, yeah. You ever get robbed? Never. You been shot at? Yeah. You ever shot people? Were you <laughs> you been stabbed? Did you have somebody with you or I don't were know. you? <laughs> 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 nope. 
<laughs> no, I never, I never shot anybody. <laughs> oh shit, dude! I love it. <laughs> Made yeah, so dance. um, bro, when we're talking, when we're talking backstage, uh, backstage outside of the studio, uh-huh. when I was living in the projects, when I came out of rehab, I, I was I was doing stand up, but I was new at stand up, maybe like two years in, and I was telling her about this block party that that was going on in the in the projects. And it was like this is before this is way after I was out the game, bro. I was not even um, doing nothing bad anymore. <laughs> but I saw that because I never seen any other, any other gang in the neighborhood, but that one gang. Like maybe there was a, another gang from First Street, and they got along when they were kids, but not anymore. Mm-hmm. But I never seen any other outside gangs in the projects. Never, bro. Only one time when I was a kid, Florencia came over. To play cuatro in a football game, and everybody showed up because a big fucking football game from behind from behind yeah, the park. Yeah, they showed up to play football Damn. in the projects, but um, but that night it was like LAPD was walking around, bro, and uh, there was a guy from um, State Street mm-hmm. and Temple and yeah. Echo Park. Yeah, deep, bro. Deep. It was they were deep. <laughs> and what was it? What time was that party? party? It was peace, right? Like a, yeah. like a peace party. Yeah. <clears throat> That's crazy. But they had a DJ, bro, like a fucking DJ, bro, and there was like 300 people walking around. Okay, this, just imagine this, Girls bro. twerking on top of the car. Yes, <laughs> just imagine this, dog. In my mini truck. Just imagine this, dog. There's 300 people walking around, all right? I would say a good majority of the motherfuckers don't live there, all right? But there's apartments, bro. People are sleeping, dog. <laughs> People are getting ready to start the day the next day. Yeah. People are going to go to fucking school. It's like, we don't give a fuck yeah. about that. Those are bumping it's like, you don't yeah. even, it's like, that doesn't even cross your mind yeah, you that, even that there's people that are sleeping and they're enjoying their house. It's like Miami right there, huh? But, hey, yeah. but how, it was loud, right? It was before. Loud. Like you, could, you, you can't go outside and say, shut the fuck up. No, hell no. Because <laughs> jump your ass, they know, huh? they, you, know, you know who's making that noise. You, you just can't say nothing. That was crazy times, huh? Yeah, five in the morning parties, and people were like, getting ready to go to work. It's like you're, you're you're fucking still partying or making out with somebody, and there's like people, getting fucking up. all limpio, bro, getting ready to go to church, <laughs> going to school, <laughs> and you're looking at them like, how 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 could the people live like that? And they're looking at you like, how can you live like that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But no matter what, both the sides just do what they got to do and move yeah. on with their lives. Yeah. Because I remember rolling to this fool's pad early at like 5.30 in the morning. See, both sides could exist. Just one side got a nice station. Yeah. They can coexist like that. And I was like, what the fuck? And no this? cops came. Yeah. No cops came. No What's up with this lady wearing a uniform, bro? She looked like a, like a nutcracker or some shit. And she's like, oh, she works at Disneyland, bro. She's starting her day. I was like, what the fuck? She was dressed like uh, like, like the, 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 the <laughs> bridesmaid. What's called the... Is that the bridesmaids' tales? <laughs> yeah, she's gonna work on a train or something, yeah, yeah. Shit, dude. It was weird, dude. So what happened over there when you guys took over that prison? Man, how did it start? How did well, it go down? We didn't get to shower for three days. We were programming. Yep. So, so um, something happened, and they they made they closed down the visitation, showers, and all yeah. that. Yeah, for like. So you got no women showered? No, we couldn't. Well, we could shower inside. We bird bath, but not we couldn't go outside and shower. Wow, so much of like much of stunk. <laughs> at the trash can at Red tank. Lobster. It was a fish tank. <laughs> Siete mares and shit. This was at Chowchilla? This was at uh, CIW. No, no, this was in Linwood. This was in, in County. County. Oh, this damn. was in County. They have a show in Linwood? Well, you go to Linwood to County and then you go to prison. Oh, okay. So yeah. this was when I was fighting my case. 3,400. That happened in 3,400. Man, you, you could um, you, They could I know this happens a lot. of dumb, dumb question to ask, but I'm asking for like someone, for one of our listeners, who doesn't know. Um, when you're fighting your case, right, for five years, right? It's a, it's a tough five because in those five, you can pick up cases while you're locked up, huh? Yeah, yes. They get added onto your five, right? Yeah, that could have been an ad charge, yeah. And then, uh, but there, has there ever happened where somebody gets lost in limbo and they never, they, he keeps saying, hey man, where's my court case? Where's my court case? <laughs> yeah, that's the, happened. They got to let you go. F- that's fucked up, you huh? You got 48 hours to go to court. And if you don't go to court in 48 hours, they have to, they have to throw it. you out. Yeah. But because I know the few people that have been locked up, you're, you're, say your, your, your next case 
isn't isn't three months, but you're gonna spend those time in, in jail, right? Yeah. You know, if nobody bails you out. Yeah, if nobody. Because they could be fuck ups where somebody doesn't even file properly, mm -hmm. and then you're like, and what's going on? They so find they out, throw you out. Yeah, and they can't even like figure out what's going Lucky. on. Lucky. Yeah, totally. Lucky. That don't happen to me. Lost in the shuffle. That never happened to me. <laughs> Has ever have you heard about that? But like somebody, one of your homies or somebody got out by a computer error. Uh, yeah, I heard about. And what that. do they do? Leave they, happy? Yeah. Yeah, even of mistakes, course. like even do a birth. Back, do they come back? No, <laughs> they probably got caught a month, like a week later. But even mistakes, like a, a messed up birth date or even a messed up name, yeah, right? Yeah, a messed up name. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So the yeah. cops are usually pretty much on their game. Yeah. yeah. Even if it's, the, your name is spelled like the way you spell your name, but they were spelled it with one N, could, could that be a cause to leave? No, that was just a misspell. Oh my god! Just because yeah. it's like the sure. name is like how they're gonna fuck. But I mean, because they're not gonna fuck up your driver's license. So what if they fuck up the social, name? And, you know, when they, you were in prison, did you see women who look exactly like him? Yeah. Like, <laughs> yes. With this hair right here, like this. Yes. Little boys. Little <laughs> 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 yeah, the little butch girls. Those are the ones that everybody wanted. All the girls wanted because they wanted the one that look like boys. Looking at like Johnny Depp in there and shit. Oh, <laughs> Pelonas. Juana, Juana Depp, bro. You know. Yeah, that's crazy. When you were in, when you were in, when you were in prison, when um that lady that killed the little boy Gabriel went to prison. No, I had already got out. Perla. Perla. Yeah, that's. But your oh. homies are in there. No, there's like a, a, a she's on a hit list, right? Oh yeah, she already got she already got hers, but she's already in PC now. That was that was the most saddest story I've ever heard oh, in my me life. Too. Was, oh, yeah, that made my blood dude. boil. Someone like that is, doesn't allow to be walking this earth. No, man. she should be dead. And, they, and, and <laughs> that that in a female prison, prison someone like that, they're on tar they're targeted just like a male, right? Yeah, I mean, the, most they're of the not in custody. if they're not, yeah, they're gonna they're gonna get fucked. I mean, we're not the girls don't stab you because the girls want to go home, but they'll get beat up, they'll get jumped, they'll get really beat up. But the people that are there for like, uh, uh, like lifers, 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 they'll, lifers, they'll do shit like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah stomp your ass out. Huh? I got nothing. In, yeah, they're not going home. So, are they doing it for anybody else? Are they doing it just? Because are they doing it for credit or? No, they're doing it just for themselves. I would do it just extra for me. Extra credits. Yeah, like, sure. yeah, just yeah. You're you're a chomo. You're gonna get laid the fuck out in jail. So this Christmas, what you got planned? <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> Making some, so some who you gonna beat down for Christmas? Make Last Christmas, nobody. Some prison tamales, or do you, for, wait, some do, you, do you make regular tamales? Or do you make prison tamales now that you're home? No, real ones. Though. Okay, yeah. <laughs> dude, you gotta be institutionalized and keep on making those motherfuckers, dude. Traumatized. Yeah. <laughs> Stop using the toilet. I'm gonna stay at home with my family. Christmas. Yeah, tamales or what? Tamales. We're making pozole. Mm. All that good stuff. Italian pozole, bro. They had mozzarella. <laughs> pozole. Sounds <laughs> good, dude. I did. Parmigiano. Sounds bomb. <laughs> Holy shit. We, we were in, uh, where were we last week? I forgot. Right uh, Napa. Napa and then KC on Friday. Oh, shit. I forgot to mention that. I was in um, Kansas City. Oh, what? I did a one-nighter. It was like, you know that comedian, Voodoo Chow, Eddie Griffin? Uh-huh. He um put him up in the front of Eddie Griffin. And um he hits me up two months ago. And he goes, hey man, like my, I guess, the same week my dad died, he said, um, I have a, we want to do a show, and I was like, fuck, how did this guy even get my phone number? <laughs> Him right there, off the oh, net. Yeah. So he he calls me up, and he he fucking uh, hooks me up for a show with um, Gary Owens, Cedric the Entertainer, and D.L. Hewley. And um, we're we're doing the T-Mobile Center, bro. Bro, it's this fucking big fucking wow. arena in Kansas City, and um, it's a basketball fuck, arena. Dude. It was nuts. <laughs> I was the only Mexican on the show, first of all. But I held my own, bro. I did thirty. I was nervous, you know. I never, I never done a big show with with big comics like this, you know. Real big comics, bro. Like. like Hard hitters. They're all millionaires, bro. Like, dude, yeah. you got two of the fucking kings uh, of comedy. Yeah. Deal. As these people have a man, these people. Well, anyways, I, I, did, I did my show, but I, I, me and Rodrigo, we went to. There it is, right there. That show. <clears throat> me and Rodrigo, we went. We, we talked to Gary Owens for like a long time, right? Real nice guy, yeah, huh? That's cool as fuck, dude. Very Gary Owen. Very Gary Owen. Yeah, and then we talked to D.L. Hewley, and um, he's funny, bro. D.L. Yeah. Hewley, because. He was telling me about one of his daughters, and uh, I was telling him about my daughter, 
And um, Cedric was there, bro. And man, he was just drinking, bro, like this. <laughs> Hennessy or what? I don't know. They drink, they drink nah. good shit, bro. Yeah, nah. <laughs> they smoke. Fancy, like. They smoke cigar, but they only like stuck up people who smoke, bro. Like, like real Cubans? Cubans. <laughs> real yeah, Cubans. man. They were, they were Cubans. Habaneros. Come on. <laughs> and I, I got to talk to all of them. And I, I went to everybody's green room. They were really nice. That's so cool. They probably smell good as fuck, huh? Yeah, bro. Like, good yeah, cologne, man. huh? I can uh, imagine. Everybody you know, only laughed at my watch. <laughs> <laughs> he asked me what kind of watch is that. He goes, it's a he goes, it's, it's a Filson, bro. And then he goes, man, I never heard of that. And then he goes, yeah, man, it's made by Shanola. Shanola. They only made two. <laughs> he goes, they only made two. And then he goes, then whatever, right? But he's he from, he from Los Angeles. Oh, okay. Dion Hewley, man, he from fucking um, no. Gardena and shit. Yeah. Oh, wow. He grew up in the blood neighborhood. Shit, dude. He has a lot of history here. And um, so, so the next day, bro, we went to fucking Napa. And we drove an hour to Napa. Who in the SFO? Hell yeah, man. With, 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 with Steve Danner. Show him Steve Danner. Hey, bro. Big mini Steve. Stevie D, dude. Just want to let you know I did a good job for you tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you, where can people buy the stuff you're selling? Um, on my IG. Maybe somebody wants to buy your shoes you're wearing right now off you. Oh. <laughs> There's people like that. You, people have been going to money oh, like that. Show, show my feet. Show it, show it. You can be like a, a foot model on OnlyFans. <laughs> yeah. Because people, people buy calcetines, huh. underwear, you know, but you have to like my fart. Bath water. Remember, yeah, there you go. somebody wants you to buy our underwear, bro. Remember? Yeah, put yeah. it in a mason jar. <laughs> that was Steve Danner, bro, the, the, par, the party slammer. Big mini Steve on Instagram. <laughs> yeah. Party slammer. How t- oh, man. Our, that's our that's friend Steve Danner. We're going to have him on a podcast one day. He went, he, he's a little person. Uh-huh. He just looks like he's far but, away, but he's actually. But um, he, got, he got a surgery to make himself taller. What? When he was yeah. younger, they put these rods uh, <laughs> yeah. on his legs to make him like two inches taller. What? Yeah. I told you that surgery that like some That's fools, crazy. like actors and shit, get that. Do, to make yeah. themselves I heard taller. some comedians. Too. Yeah, some comedians as well. Is a, a rumor? <laughs> well, dude, it was that, Big that Boy on the radio. To get <laughs> You do it, Rizzo? I think it's uh, like guys that are on the, on the cusp of 5'1", 5'4". No, five, two, I wouldn't five, do four. it. Even no. if you have millions? Because 5'2", you can still pass. I'm just like, <laughs> man, put some, how many wheels on, you'll be like There's only two. How many inches would I want to do? How many two inches foot. Go? A foot. You'll be a whole man five, if you did a foot. You're good, age. You're 5'6". You're like 5'4", bro. I'm not 5'4", dude. I've seen... I'm not 5'3", bro. With your shoes off? Yeah, bring the tape measure. You seem 5'3", they're fucking little, dude. <laughs> I'm 5'6". Five, five, wow. Most guys are 5'1"? Five, five, one? Uh, Most guys want to be 5'11". Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. That's, the average, five, that's the average height of lying people say when they're... Oh, when they're totally, dude. Feet. You know, it's like, dude, come on. You're 5'6", yeah. dude. Because <laughs> 5'10", you're a little short if I'm 10. That's what Ron say. Because I was going to say, like, at 5'10", like, all that, like, five... You could put on some heels or, like, some boots. How tall are you? 5'6". 5'6"? Those DeSanti boots. Five 5'9", with these heels. All right. Oh, those are Desanti heels. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not five three, bro. That's like a. That's like, <laughs> Come on, dude. Five six. Oh, five, six. And with yeah. these, I'm like five nine. Should wear those, bro. I know, right? <laughs> those, those are Ron Desantis. Want to try them on? <laughs> the Ron Desantis same right size. <laughs> <laughs> Women's nine. <laughs> sock check. Right here, dude. These are. Whoa, right dude. Right here, right here. I like. He There's always two has socks? two different socks. <laughs> these are. What is going on socks. at the Rizzo household, bro? Hey, bro. I know you gotta start a you Patreon know, for your socks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Stephanie only buy one. Watches one sock at a time. Yeah. I think uh, the one on the <laughs> left is her grandfather's, and the one on the right is her dad's. Right. <laughs> right here, dude, from Southgate. <laughs> Southgate. Yeah, it's because they're all just bunched up, dude. <laughs> what? Dude, organize the laundry, two dude. Two socks, two lines, eh? Dude, that would drive dude. me crazy, dude. <laughs> oh my god, I have a nervous breakdown. <laughs> those socks come with those dog walking shoes, bro. <laughs> the grandma shoes. <laughs> grandma socks, grandpa socks. The tatarabuelo oh, shoes, bro. Oh. Those are the socks they used to make those the little um, crosses in prison. Eh? <laughs> Get off my lawn yeah. socks. <laughs> the, the, these are the ones you use up. You make masa with in prison. Oh, right? You put the. What's up, fool? You got shows coming up, bro? Dates? No dates. Just uh, this weekend, Portland. Oh, we have a new uh, podcast. Those podcasters yeah. are north with uh, Joel Sotomayor. I see the, 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 the yeah, schedule. 
please. Freeway, can you mess with Okay, man, December 14th to the 17th. Are we in Portland this weekend? This week, I'm in Portland, Oregon. I'm, I'm doing the Helium Comedy Club. Helium. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. December 14th, 15th, 16th, and 17th. Austin, Texas. I'm at Woo! the Mothership. It's sold, out. it's sold out, man. December 23rd, Rotterdam, Netherlands. Not sold out. Not sold out, man. Uh, if you want passes, I'll give it to you, bro. January 22nd, I'm at the Bahamas. Yeah. And the Eric Andre. Eric Andre, Andre Impractical Jokers, Jokers, baby. February 1st to February 3rd, Louisville, Kentucky. Funny Bone. No, Louisville. Sorry, my bad. Louisville Comedy, Comedy Club. Club. February 9th, Minneapolis, Minnesota. February 10th, Lincoln, Nebraska. February 15th to the 17th, I'm going to be at East Providence, Rhode Island. I don't know the name of the comedy club, but the last time I was there, I stood on an Airbnb and a boat. I think it's comedy. What's up, fool? We have Jennifer what? Loca. Jennifer Loca, man. La Loca. La Loca. Jennifer, you're fucking cool as fuck, man. Oh, yeah, dude. Thank you very much. You want to hire her? Where'd you go? Where's gonna hit which you had to hire you? Instagram. Instagram. Guys. What's your handle? Jen Cephalo. There it is. Jen stuff. What? Spell it. Jen Cephalo. C E F A. That's an Italian last name right there. It's like Hawaiian Italian, huh? <laughs> Jenny Cannoli, bro. What's up, full podcast? Thank you. Take it to that homie that gave me that harmonica in um in my, in Napa. What's that fool's name? Sergio, right? Sergio. He's from Napa. And shout out to those two girls that saw me in um, Needles and shout out to the podcast. And they were talking about that movie. What's that movie called? Her idea for the, the Friday uh, after next. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving after next. Oh, I don't know. Day after Thanksgiving. Day after Thanksgiving. Shout out, boo. <laughs> <laughs> what a name. That's what I told Felipe. <laughs> <laughs>